My name's Danny Babiemi and I'm the Managing Director of Matt Black. I'd say three bits of advice for anyone who wants to go into working in strategy. I'd say one, being observant. That's what I've always tried to do as much as possible in my entire career. I would always admit to anyone that I am not an expert in any field, but I know enough about all fields and that's because I'm observant. So paying attention to everything, advertising, marketing, PR, music, fashion, art, no matter what it is, just paying attention and basically if someone was to ask you a question in a pub and you're able to at least say one thing about the subject, then you're doing well. So that's one piece of advice. Um, I'd also say making your work as relatable to you and people around you as possible. One thing that I always did as a strategist and an upcoming strategist was use my brother as a target market. So for example, you get a brief and it says, we want to appeal to 18 to 24 year old guys in London. At the time, my brother was 19. And if I think that actually my brother won't like this and you're just generalizing, it gives me another train of thought for me to think, actually, you know what, let's change this slightly. So that's the way I like to approach things. It doesn't always work, but it's a really great thing. So making it relatable to you as possible. Um, and I'd say the final piece of advice would be to just make sure that your ideas come from strategy. Um, it's always good to have amazing ideas and it's part of the strategist's role to help come up with the ideas, not just the creatives. But the importance of the strategist is to be able to really found some grounding in the ideas. And so basically, if you can come up with an amazing insight and that one grain of truth that you think you can take to your creative and have them come up with this amazing idea, that for me is something which is very, very important. So having the ability to take an idea and trying to find some insight behind it is something which I think is quite important. The qualities that I would look for for someone joining a business would be not to sound you know like we're blowing our own trumpet but the people that currently work at Matt Black and these people are hungry, they are smart and are what I like to say in it if that makes sense. We want people that are hungry to be part of this growing business because we are small and there's ample opportunity to become part of something small but could also grow into this huge you know, entity. Um, but as I said, it's always just being smart and being in it. So therefore knowing about what's going on, knowing, being observant about your surroundings, being observant about the market and what's going on in social, what's going on in marketing. Um, anyone who sort of lives and breathes that, for me, that's a great start. Then ultimately, I've gone through my career of saying that nicer this wins and that opens doors so it may sound cheesy or cliche but if you're a nice person that's a very very good start and if I can sit in a room with you for five minutes and not talk about work and get along then immediately that's something which I look for so those are some traits which I'd look for in an employee. Honestly I'd say no um, in terms of do I think you need an education in something that had to do with strategy to become a strategist my answer would be no. I think there's, you can come from any walk of life and it's all about how you think um, and not what someone has taught you to think, if that makes sense. You know, what is it that you can take from your own personal life, from your own personal experiences at work that are going to be able to take you forward in this career of strategy? So I haven't come across and seen that you have to have a qualification in this to, in order for you to become a strategist. I think it's just about your experiences, your interests, where you've worked and what you've done and ultimately how you think, because that for me is something which is incredibly important. Um, I wouldn't say they are particular qualifications and pieces of training that I think I've looked for or have seen, or I've even done myself when it, becomes, when it comes time to becoming a strategist. I think it's good to have experience and industry experience, and I think that enough is a great qualification to have I mean, we always, you know, when I was looking for a job at the time and whenever you're looking for jobs, people ask for experience. And I know one of the challenges are is that how can I get experience if you're not willing to give me the job to get the experience? So I know that sometimes is a hurdle, but any sort of relevant experience that this person can bring to the table, I think is ultimately personally more valuable than a stamp or a piece of paper that says you are qualified to become a strategist. I think to get promoted, what you need to do is 
show your worth and show your value to whoever it is that is making that decision. You want to become indispensable and you want to become that person that they cannot do that piece of work if you are not involved. Um, it happened a number of times in my career where I came in and liked to think of myself as this creative person and put myself in countless amounts of brainstorms and said I wanted to go to this meeting and this meeting and eventually I stopped asking and people start asking for me to come to meetings. So that was something which I did and therefore made myself that person or one of the people within the company who has to become or become part of a brainstorm effectively. So for me it's all about making yourself indispensable but also doing the little things and making sure that you tick the boxes of all the things that are required of you. Once you've done those things and you can build on top of that and do the things that are going to impress. Become the star of the show, but ultimately rehearse your lines beforehand. My advice for freelancers would be to take on the freelance role when you are on the interim of deciding what the permanent role is that you want to do. I can only give that advice because that's what happened with me. There was a time when I was in between roles and because I didn't know where it is I wanted to go, whether it was another agency or going to client side, I took on freelance roles in the interim. A, to just keep yourself fresh, B, obviously to keep the money in, um, and C, just to see what was out there. Um, so for me, it's all about taking on the right roles and when you go into a freelance role, go into it with 100% effort. I've been at places where freelancers clock in and clock out because they believe that they're freelancers and don't want to get involved in anything else. For me, that's a negative because you want to get as involved as much as possible because you want to feel as part of the team. And yes, though you are paid by the day, it still doesn't mean that you shouldn't take part and get involved, whether it is on work duties or even social duties. Getting involved, for me, that's a great piece of advice for freelancers. Source LF are London's leading creative communications and media recruitment agency. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to this channel. Take the moment to watch another of our videos on screen now.